Okay, read this problem. So question says we have three charges and these charges are placed along the x axis. Q1 has a magnitude of 15 microcoulomb and this is placed at x equals to 2 meter and we have another charge 6 microcoulomb this is positive. This is placed at x is equals to 0 and we have third charge Q3 magnitude is let us say Q3 and we have to find what is the coordinate for this charge so let us say coordinate is x so we have to find what is the x coordinate of Q3 and this is also given resultant force acting on Q3 is 0 so net force on Q3 this is 0 so let us say this is 6 micro coulomb charge this is 15 micro coulomb let us say this distance is x x meter then this distance has to be 2 minus x meter Now let us see this charge Q3. What are the forces that is acting on Q3? There is one force that will apply Q2. So Q2 will try to attract Q3 in this direction. Let us call this force as F3, 2. That is force on 3 due to 2. There is another attractive force because this is positive and this is negative. So there is another attractive force in this direction. And let us say this force is F31. Let us find F32 and F31 separately. F32 is equals to Q2 into Q3 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught. And distance is x, so this is x square. Now Q2 is 6 microcoulomb divided by 4 pi epsilon naught x square so we are putting this is in micro coulomb similarly you can have f31 that is q3 into q1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught and distance is 2 minus x So Q3 is basically not given, Q1 is given for 15 micro coulomb, 4 pi epsilon naught 2 minus x whole square. Now since this is in equilibrium, so these two forces has to be equal that is F32 is equal to F31. So if I apply this condition I will have 6 Q3 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught x square is equals to 15 q3 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught 2 minus x whole square so q3 goes 4 pi epsilon naught goes so we will have 6x square 6 by x square is equals to 15 divided by 2 minus x whole square So we can solve this one 6 by x square is equals to 15 divided by 2 minus x whole square. If we divide by 3, so we will have 2 by x square is equals to 5 by 2 minus x whole square. Now if we solve this is equals to 5x square or if I square this term so a square 
प्लस बी स्क्वायर माइनस टू ए बी दिस इज इक्वल टू फाइव एक्स स्क्वायर सो आई विल हैव एट प्लस टू एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एट एक्स इज इक्वल टू फाइव एक्स स्क्वायर और आई कैन फर्दर राइट थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एट एक्स माइनस एट दिस इज इक्वल टू जीरो ना दिस इज ए क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन वी कैन सोल्व फॉर एक्स सो इफ वी सोल्व फॉर एक्स विल गेट टू रूट्स फॉर एक्स एंड दिज रूट्स आर बेसिकली एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सेवन सेवन फाइव मीटर अनदर रूट वी हैव दैट इज एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री Now this negative root has no meaning because x is a number and this has to be positive, so negative root has no physical meaning. So x is equals to zero point seven seven five meter. So this means one charge is here, another charge is here, another charge is here. This distance is point seven seven five meter, and this distance is two minus. Point seven seven five meter. Now the next question, the same problem. It is asked whether this equilibrium is stable or unstable. So we know now this is Q three is at equilibrium. What will happen if I displace Q3 either in this direction or in this direction? So let us say we have here Q2, and here we have Q3, and here we have Q1. So this is positive, this is negative, this is positive. Now if I displace Q3 slightly in this direction, what will happen? If I displace in this direction, this distance will increase, and this distance will decrease. This means attractive force in this direction will decrease because this distance is increasing, and attractive force in this direction will increase because distance is decreasing. So this means resultant there is a attractive force in this direction. This means this charge will move in this direction. So it will never come back to the original position. So this is a unstable equilibrium. So equilibrium is. Unstable. You can verify yourself by pushing this charge in this direction. So, if you push this charge here, if you push this charge here, what will happen? This force, that is attractive force in this direction, will decrease because distance has increased. In this direction, force will increase because the distance has decreased. So, finally, this will move in this direction. So this means if I displace this charge either in left direction or in right direction, it will start moving in the same direction. It will not reach or it will not come to the equilibrium position. So I can say, if Q3 is displaced, it will not come. to the original position or mean position this means equilibrium is unstable 